from Zoyut Snomer in Hollywood. It's the Tom Mikey Show. B I T C H. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's one 800 800 tom 1-800-5-800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. And from the Orange County Register. A new study from USC says, quote, Women start adult life happier than men, but end up less happy in later years. What a shock! What a shock! You know, I don't need the scientific, I don't need the empirical evidence. Let's just give a little colloquial evidence here, okay? A little colloquial evidence. Let's review. Why would women be happier in earlier years and men be happier in later years? Here's why. From the beginning, girls begin developing anywhere from 8 to 12 years old, and the pervs are following them around, right up through, uh, you know, their uh, college years, right up through their early 20s. You know, girls, women, they get everything they want. Guys are lining up to give it to them. At the same time, they're little bitches, you know. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm not going to go out with you. What kind of car do you drive? I'm going to talk to you. Where do you live, Arlena? Forget it. I'm not going to talk to you. What school do you go to? <laughs> Are you kidding me? UCLA? Eh, I go to USC. Who needs you? you can just go away. What kind, of, what kind of car do you drive? Will you take me to France? Will you take me to Germany? Will you take me on the vacation? Will you on vacation with you? They just get everything they want. I'll never forget the woman who told me, I swear this is true, she went into Midas Muffler. This was an attractive woman who walked into Midas Muffler, who bragged to me that she went in there and she needed a new tailpipe, and the guy there just said, here, you can have it. Installed it for her and charged her zero dollars and zero cents. Now, I'm sure that's not the policy at Midas or any other car repair place. Some guy overstepped. But come on, guys, when's the last time you went into, you know, AutoZone or Pep Boys or Costco and uh, they did some free wheel alignment for you or some free <laughs> tire rotation? It doesn't happen to guys. It happens to chicks. But it happens to them anywhere from age 8 <laughs> all the way up to, say, age 25. The women get anything they want. Anything. Of course they're happier when they're younger. Why are they less happy when they're older? Why are men happier? Because, as we have outlined on the program, as women get older, as they pass their expiration dates, suddenly less guys are offering them free stuff. Less guys are offering to do things for them. Less guys are paying attention to them. You know, when I was a kid, I used to, uh, like Jerry Seinfeld, I used to like to read the Superman comic books and watch the Superman TV show when I was a kid, the old reruns of Superman. And uh, if you've ever watched Superman, you know, you get that uh, episode where Superman is faced with kryptonite and suddenly he loses his superpowers. That's what chicks are like after they hit the big 3-0, after they pass their expiration date. The superpowers they had all these years, suddenly, guys don't drop everything and offer to do them favors. Suddenly, guys aren't giving them anything for free. Suddenly, guys aren't staring at them and hanging on their every word. Suddenly, they don't have their superpowers anymore. 
Now, they live in denial, and they get a little Botox, a little collagen. They tell you they're cougars or they're MILFs or whatever they tell you they are. But there comes that time when a guy is 45 and a woman is 45. Who's having a better time? I am a 52-year-old male, and I will challenge any 52-year-old female to tell me she's got a better life than I've got right now, unless her name happens to be Oprah Winfrey. I get everything I want. By the way, I get something at age 52 that I couldn't get at age 19. You know what that is? The attention of 19-year-old girls. <laughs> it's absolutely true. When I was 19, no 19-year-old girl would talk to me because they were all dating 27-year-old guys who already had college degrees. They were already doctors or lawyers. They already had money. You know, the kind of uh, girls who would show up at the prom... The ones who developed first, the ones who looked really great when they were 14, 15, 16. The ones who showed up at the prom with the uh, with the plastic surgeon. Showed up at the prom with the, uh, right? With the uh, pro football player or the rock star or whatever. You know who I'm talking about. And later on, after she passed her expiration date and after she had cashed in all her chips... There she was at the Fox Fire on Friday nights, the Wrinkle Room. There she was, <laughs> trying to <laughs> trying to pick up uh, guys pathetically. That, that's what happens to them. That's right. Of course, when women are younger, women start their adult life happier than men, but end up less happy in later years than men. Because as men get this is why I tell you guys not to get married, not to get into a relationship at a young age. Because many of you guys feel so rejected. I, let me just go all the way with this and, and kind of piece a lot of these threads together. Many of you boys, when you're 18 and 19 and 20 and 21, you'll feel so rejected by so many females. Because they see themselves as so hot. Why would they ever talk to you when older, more established, more successful guys are available to them? Why do they need you? I know a lot of you boys feel rejected. So when you meet a nice girl who isn't necessarily the hottest, many of you just jump right in with both feet, sign the contract, get married, you know, because you're just happy that anybody was nice to you. I'm sure there's some of you out there right now who are relating to exactly what I'm telling you. You know, somebody who's a seven open their legs to you or seven and a half. Maybe she's a big chunk cola. You know what I'm talking about? Just a chunk K. But, uh, you know, she's nice. And she knows how to make beef stroganoff. You know, uh, or hamburger helper. And you're just thrilled that some girl was nice to you. My mom used to make hamburger helper and shake and bake, by the way. That's for another show. But you met a girl who's nice to you, and, you know, your parents have signed off on her. You, know, you, you, you get with somebody who's good enough because you can't see the future. You can't see down the road when you're 25 and 30 and 35 and 40, and your career is starting to get going, and you're starting to make money, and you're starting to make headway, and you're starting to get promotions, and your, your entrepreneurial business is starting to grow, and, you know, when you finally come into your own. I'm telling you right now, I'm 52 today. When I was 22, I could never have envisioned this. I could never have envisioned what I have today. And back when I was 22, many times I would jump into a relationship or like lily pad to lily pad. And one relationship would end, I'd jump into another one. I just was thrilled that somebody wanted to pay attention to me. And at some point, it clicked. At some point, I realized that one day, I'm going to be a lot more successful than this. You know when it clicked? It clicked when that chick I was living with locked me out of her apartment, threw all my stuff out, and said, come back to me when you get a better job. It finally dawned on me. Once I get a great job, make great money, make a career for myself, I will get hot chicks. Lots of them. Hand over fist. I never knew I would make as much money as I have. I never knew I would be as successful as I became. I never knew that if I was only patient, I wouldn't have to date the 25-year-olds when I was 25 or the 22-year-olds when I was 22. I'm dating their daughters. <laughs> and they hate it. 
It is not an accident that women start adult life happier than men, but end up less happy than men. I'm 52, and I've never been so happy. And there's a lot of 52-year-old women right now. You know the ones. The ones who, for the first time, have registered to vote. <laughs> the ones who are now watching, like, uh, The Daily Show or... You know, they're going to BarackObama.com trying to bone up on, you know, Social Security and taxes and all these things they've never paid any attention to. And they're all worried about whether there'll be Social Security for them because who's going to buy them cat food when they're 65 and over? They have to depend on the federal government. So suddenly they become interested. In, after not being interested in politics all those years, suddenly they're interested. I meet these women all the time, you know, they tell me, oh yeah, I watch the Daily Show, I watch the Colbert Report, like these are real news programs, you know. But these women are suddenly politically active because they've uh, dropped every last egg, you know what I'm talking about? They uh, pretty much are done menstruating, you know what I'm saying? They don't keep any tampons under the sink, they uh, have that little menopausal mustache. Guys don't find them attractive anymore, and so now they can't depend on guys giving them everything, so they have to depend on the government, so they become politically active. And many of them are just bitter old trolls. You know what I'm talking about? Bitter. Meanwhile, I'm just added my 10th uh, flat screen to my life uh, between my two houses. Uh, I uh, travel all the time. I uh, just enjoy my life, I'm having a good time, living alone. Nobody lives in my place. And many of these chicks would just love it. These probably the same chicks who said no to me when I was 21 or 25. They'd love to get with me now. And I get the last laugh because <laughs> their nieces, their young cousins, their daughters, that's who I'm with now. I don't have to be with them anymore. When I get that notice of the high school reunion every five years or ten years when it comes in, I don't even know. They all want me to come because I'm the most well-known person who went to my high school. It's not happening. It's not going to happen. Why do I want to go back and uh, deal with any unfinished business with the females of of of, of, of my high school class? Why would I want to do that? These women are way older than what I normally deal with. But not to say that I haven't been with women who are older. There are some women who have great knockers or... They look exotic, or they take care of themselves. There are some women like that. But for the vast majority, let's face it, there's nothing like a 24-year-old. There's nothing like a 21-year-old. There's nothing like an 18-year-old. Oh, my God. You never get bored with it. People say, don't you get bored with that? No. No, you don't. I mean, of course, now 52-year-old, I'm just taking my own age here, 52-year-old women are miserable and bitter, and 52-year-old guys like myself, are you kidding me? I'm living in digital paradise, jumping into the hot tub with 20-somethings. Are you kidding? That's as good as it gets. That is as good as it gets. Now, let me continue reading you the rest of this little story from USC. That's the study that said that women start adult life happier than men, but end up less happy in later years. It says here it's a change largely based on shifting feelings about family life and money. Early on, says the study, quote, women are more likely to be the, the, are more likely than men to be in unions. And this makes for greater fulfillment of both family life and material goals. That's one way of putting it. But it doesn't stay that way. As they age, quote, because we toss them aside like a used Kleenex, women are less likely to be in unions. And their sense of happiness declines. Women tend to experience this turnabout in their late 40s when men are achieving more of their financial goals, says the study by USC economist Richard Easterlin and University of Cambridge sociologist Anke Plagno, who earned her doctorate at USC last year. <laughs> I love this. Women tend to experience this turnabout in their late 40s. That's our revenge. When they treat us like crap when they're teenagers, when they treat us like crap when they're in college. The best part is this is the best part of their lives. After 30, they're going straight downhill. And we're going straight up. And if only we can resist the urge to marry them or have children with them or become financially involved with them in any way. If we just hang on until we get past age 30, until we are successful, until we've got the money and the professional titles and the promotions. If we can just hang on that long. 
we could just walk right past all the miserable bitches who are our age and go straight to the 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 year olds. We can go straight to where we want to go. Get what we want. Absolutely amazing. So is anybody surprised by the results of this USC study? It says women start their adult life happier than men, but end up less happy in later years. That begins when women are in their late 40s. And does anybody feel sorry for the widow ladies? Yeah. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. So bottom line is you're anti-marriage, pro-slut. Yeah, and most are. guys are. <laughs> the Tom Likey Show. The Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. We appreciate it. Just love this survey from USC. It says that women start out adult life happier than men, but end up less happy than men in later years. You gotta love it. George on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, you're the best, man. Thank you. Um, Tom, uh, I recently went to my 20-year high school reunion. Out of, you know, I just, out of curiosity, I had to go. And <clears throat> I just saw that, you know, the women that used to just dog me my whole life tell me about how fugly I was. Now, all of a sudden, <laughs> a lot of them that were at this reunion were introducing themselves to me, hugging me, kissing me. And I I was actually kind of overwhelmed. I mean, it took that moment to sort of get over my fugly complex because now the kind of chicks that sort of hit on me are all in their 20s. <laughs> <clears throat> there, but I have to say there were a couple of girls who back then I just have to thank too because they were uh, they were still they were very cool. There was at least one there that maintained her looks and still looks screaming hot from back then and but the the difference with her is that she was cool and she was never a bitch she was just cool and happy and easygoing but for the most part i mean oh I, and this just blew my head off tom from a distance i actually watched a girl point to me i mean point to me and ask her friends who i was and that's when i that's when i said okay well i guess I'm not quite the fug. I'm not the fugly guy that I used to be. <laughs> oh, they love you now. Oh yeah, they love you now. What What do you do for a living now? Oh, I I work uh, with musicians. I do all kinds of stuff in uh, event production, and I love I love what I do. So you've got a cool job, the kind of job that chicks are impressed with. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, I mean, it's taken me to some unbelievable places, and at least one event was with you, pal. <laughs> I love that. It's a, I mean, it's just it. It's been a great roller coaster ride of just you know working with the rock stars that all these chicks all drooled over. And actually, the good laugh that I get out of it is all the '80s kind of uh, rock or stars. I don't want to say they were rock stars because they were in the new wave thing. All of those guys that all those chicks all dug. All of those guys are now gay. You all know they're all gay. You know. So well, who by they the have way, to go to? by it's the beautiful. way, if you listen back to the music of that time, it's so obvious that they were gay. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's just, or, or you know, but just like you said, the guys that sort of look gay, are, you know, are the ones that those girls really dug. Those really femmy guys. I was never really like that. I was actually pretty macho, yeah. but. Um, I just, I mean, I, I, I and, and let me tell you, Tom, I mean, I'm a fat pig, but compared to what I used to look like, but I was looking very good amongst all of these types. It was really <laughs> something else. I just, and uh, I, I guess I'll tell Dino later what high school reunion that was. I don't really want to reveal it. <laughs> but, 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 you know, there were some chicks that were actually really cool, and all of a sudden now there were a bunch that were way cool to me. And I, I, they, some had introduced themselves to me, and I had never 
I'd always wanted to know who they were, but they wouldn't give me the time of day back then. Oh, I have, uh, because I've uh, cruised through the Internet, and they make it so easy now, I have cruised through uh, some photos of chicks who wouldn't give me the time of day back then. <laughs> I am so glad I didn't get into the quicksand with any of these girls. Tom, there was a girl who hated me for the simple reason that I really dug her. That was the simple that was the simple reason why she hated my gut so much and she dogged the bejesus out of me. I almost said the S word. Um but you know, and I saw the guy that she was with who she, she brought. This guy was this guy looked like he was a hundred and he was fuglier than me. I love it. He was fuglier than me and I just want, I mean, I never said anything to her because I didn't feel it was appropriate to say anything to her. I think, if anything, she should have come to me and at least uh, at least uh, been somewhat friendly to me. But uh, I, I I just didn't, I didn't even care at that point. At that point, I was, I was so past it now. And uh, I'm, I'm happy with my life. I love it, George. I'm I'm proud of you, and I'm so glad to hear from you. It's a great story. Thank you for the call. It's 1-800-500-TOM. I'm just laughing my ass off here. A survey from University of Southern California finds that women start their adult life happier than men, but end up less happy than men in later years of change that begins in their late 40s. <laughs> All you boys, please, please don't tie yourself down early. Wait until you can see this happen, because it does happen. You eventually get the upper hand, and there's nothing they can do about it. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. Jake on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, Tom, this survey's great. I mean, it just, it you know, rich and successful guys like yourself keep trading out these women, trading them out, going through them so fast. So by the time they get to 40 and are unwanted by you, I mean, I come along and I clean up. You give them a compliment and they're, you know, they buy them a few drinks and next thing you know, you're back at their house and it's over with. Right. And, I mean, it's it's just awesome. Thank you. I guess I should say because uh, right now, you know, I can still pick up a few girls. I'm 21. I can, you know, pick up a few here and there, but the older women are like shooting fish in a bucket. You know, I heard once that Women are like dog dudes. In more ways the, than one. The older that they are, the easier they get to pick up. So, I mean... <laughs> well, that's what I tell you, boys. Go with the MILFs and the Cougars for a few years un until you get your career together, you get your life together and stuff. Because later on, there would got to be 18 and 19-year-olds for you. Oh, yeah, definitely. Now, right, you know, right. It's the time to sit there and play games with them at this age. They, you know, they still don't know what the hell they're doing. And then when you get with an older woman, they want one thing and one thing only, which is compliments and sex. That's two things. Well, uh, one, hope, yeah, you understand, I'm trying to get my point across. But they, they're, it's just so easy. <laughs> I don't know. That, you are that, so that, hot. Now, t zero tolerance policy. Yeah! He said the S word. He was doing fine. He just threw it in there. It's zero tolerance policy. One curse word, we hang up on you. It's that simple. No second chances. Clearly, you can't control yourself. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Wes on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Wes, you busy? All right, we'll go looking for Wes. We'll say hi to Tony on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Back Tony. When you Back when you were 19, I was in elementary school, and all the 19-year-old girls were a bunch of bitter feminist bitches. So maybe it's just that is what these 50-year-old women have been since they were teenagers. It's not something that happens later on in life. It's just that's what this generation is. The girls from your generation are just a bunch of bitter bitches. Ever, what were they like when you were 19? Well, I mean, I, here's the thing. There was a lot of that feminism crap, but I will tell you this, uh, that uh, even if they were feminists or even if they were bitches, uh, they still got everything paid for, everything taken care of, uh, and they still dated older guys. But I, I think this generation of girls aren't going to be like that because I think their mothers are from a are from a different uh, their 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 mothers are from a different generation and they've influenced them like 
not to be the feminist. They're more well, they're like I mean, anti-feminist. When you look at who the uh, who the heroes of young girls are, it's great for guys. You know, instead of Bella Abzug and Gloria Steinem being their heroes, it's Paris Hilton and uh, uh, it's uh, Lindsay Lohan and it's Haley, uh, it's uh, uh, Miley Cyrus and it's. Um, there's just a whole list of them. all the uh, all the bratty little girls who are out there getting in trouble. Yeah, that's right. I I think that ever since the '80s, mid '80s, early '90s, the, the the girls have been cool. And then after this uh, mid '90s thing, when they all got into the 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 low rider pants, that that messed them up. But now that's going away. So those, so they're coming back to the '80s style. I'm just thrilled to see. Uh, that the women who are so happy when they're younger get more miserable as time goes on. I think it's fantastic. Okay. Okay. I guess you agree. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Ken on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? Great. I'm a new listener, and I love your show, man. Um, I have an idea why women are so unhappy later on in life. Why is that? And I think that they are unhappy because they are jealous of the fact that men are happy when they're older. Oh, I think that's true. I, I think that they... But, they're, but the reason they're jealous is because men have more reasons to be happy when we get older, and women have less. That's very true. You know, women get into their 40s and 50s, they have to wonder who's going to pay for their cat food when they retire. <laughs> and meanwhile, we men, uh, we're not going to be paying for it. Uh, because uh, we're going to be uh, dipping down as low as we can legally go. 18, 19, 20, 21, that's where we're going. That's right. Who wants some bitter, dried-up old hag when you can get somebody 18, 19, 20, 21? It's fantastic. Exactly, and I don't see why women would act rude in the first Do you know case. how good a tw you know, like a 24-year-old girl looks naked? Do you know how great that is? Are you kidding me? Why would you choose somebody who's had three kids? Why? Would, why? Right, exactly. And then on top of that is a bitch. Well, exactly. Uh, Boo-hoo-hoo, I'm so sorry these women are feeling so sorry for themselves. <laughs> and, and in reality, they need to check themselves. That's exactly. them, that's bringing their own unhappiness. That's exactly right. I think it's fantastic. You know, men finally get their just desserts. They get the reward for being kicked around and rejected when we were 17, 18, 19, 20. We get, we, we get our reward. When yeah. we get older, we get more desirable. And when women get older, they're in the, uh, they're in the uh, blue light special bin. They're in the clearance bin. <laughs> yes, exactly. They're working the piano bars trying to get anybody to have sex with them. Yep, they're begging for it. They're begging for it because they they had a shoot high when they were younger and now are unhappy and can't get anybody. Right. They can't get anybody. And it all has to do with their bad attitude, too. It's just ironic that they would shoot and get anybody that they can and yet are still going to be rude and jealous and bitter when they're older. Makes no sense at all. Well, but then, of course, the problem for them snowballs. The more bitter and jealous and angry they get, the less guys will want them. Very true. And, uh, you know, this is uh, why you see so many lonely ladies out there. <laughs> and so, yeah, so and many single mothers. I, I think myself about women I dumped years ago. Maybe someone's dating them, maybe not, but they're just out there. Just out there. Yep. Even if they were an 89 Mercedes, guess what? I drove it in 89. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Someone else, some other person who can't afford a brand new car, probably driving an 89 Mercedes. And he said to himself, at least I have an 89 Mercedes. Yep. I, I more than once, because I run into celebrities, and I'll just say this, it's not happened to any one uh, situation, but many times. I have met or known uh, women who were celebrities 30 years ago, because I'm in L.A. and you see them all the time. Right. And many times they are with some dweeby Poindexter that they mm -hmm. have uh, gotten in with. or Because Poindexter, you know, has been saving and investing and planning. And, and, and you know, so he's happy to have a 1989 Mercedes or a 1975 BMW. Um, but the reality is these are people who had sex with every desirable guy back then. And yep. now they'll take anybody they can get. 
And it's kind of fun to see. It's kind of fun to see them with anybody they can get. It is. It is. It's like, hey, payback, you know? I have seen women, I, I won't say who, but I have seen women who, if they weren't posters on my wall when I was in high school, they were magazine pages stuck together or whatever. I have seen them around Los Angeles with some little old man who, uh, <laughs> like the, 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 the one guy who would talk to them. Oh, my God. It's so, so heartwarming. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. It absolutely is. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Every time I go out with the girl, they just talk, 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 talk. Just shut up. And I listen to your show, and girls that call in, they still talk. So I'm sitting at a coffee shop last week, and I think of something. Girls talk to each other and say, no guy is worth your tears, right? And here's what I come up with. No girl is worth your ears, man. If they talk, just dump them. The Tom Likey Show. It's the Tom Likey Show at 1 800 5800. Tom, thank you for tuning in. A USC study says that women start adult life happier than men, but end up less happy than men in later years, beginning in their late 40s. <laughs> One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That is our telephone number. Sandy on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey Tom, I just absolutely love your show. Let me start by saying, and I never miss it on my drive home from work. Love it. As much as I would love to disagree with you on this one, it's absolutely impossible for me. Uh, once again, you hit the nail on the head. My situation was I had a girlfriend who's kind of like my drinking buddy, and um, we go out. She's in her late 30s. I'm in my 40s, and um, I would get most of the attention when it would come to, like, buying drinks or meeting people. I'm the married one, um, but she would get so scorned and so upset when she would not get the main attention. I, I told it to her face. I'm like, you go to the dark side, and she's miserable to be around. Unfortunately, I had to cut that friendship off, but I'm telling you, you are right. You're right, Tom. <laughs> As a guy, I'm so thrilled because this is something, again, I've talked about colloquially. And then you see the actual empirical evidence that it's true. And I, I just love it. I just love seeing my uh, my theories borne out in fact. Well, it, it has in this particular case with me. So as people should listen to you on so many other things, this one is a definite. Thank you, Sandy. Have a great day. Appreciate the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Wes on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, good afternoon, Tom. How are things? Great. That's good. Yeah, you know what? I, I love this topic. I mean, it couldn't be any more true. I mean, girls, they, they start developing, and these guys are so dumb that they're like, oh, okay, here, here. It's like they roll out a, an invisible red carpet. And when I've been to, like, the clubs, uh, these guys, you know, I mean, these these bouncers see these girls all dressed up and like, hey, come on in. You don't have to wait in that long line. And I'm thinking, that's not right. <laughs> Yeah, and you know what, Tom? I, I mean, these guys are so, like you say, pussy whipped. Like, I went to Big Bear Lake, and this guy was just texting this girl, hey, come on, let's meet up, I'll buy you a drink, I'll buy you whatever you want. I said, dude, we're up here, we're just hanging out. Come on now. Well, I mean, you know, g girls sometimes ask, well, why aren't you with a girl or whatever? And I say, well, you know, I'm, I'm busy with school, you know, I want to be an accountant, and... You know, they think you're weird if you have a 401k, but I'll tell you what, when I get older, I'm not going to be having these financial problems. I mean, these girls, these girls are less happy when they get older because they start realizing, uh oh, I got to, I got I to gotta really step it up. Yeah. And you know, I've been really, I was rejected many times because they said, oh, well, you drive a Nissan Maxima. I said, you know what? That's a great car. It's made in Japan. And, I mean, the VIN number, look for the J. I mean, and I still have it today. It's a 90s model. It's in great shape. And you know what? I, I just, these guys, it's just, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, why, I, this one girl said, oh, you're going to take me out to Denny's? I said, why would I want to do that? Yeah. I, I said, um, 
I said, and this one, and you know, these their friends don't help either. Some of them, this one girl wanted to meet up with me, and then she says, oh, I don't think it's a good idea. My friends, you know, said, you know, that they, you know, they, they prefer for me to meet up with other, you know, this one nationality. And I said, oh, yeah, see, so so a lot of times their other girlfriends give them ideas and, you know, or they say, oh, you're desperate. And it's just like I tell my, my like my friend Jim, I says, you know what? This is exactly why I don't bother with girls because right. they really divert me from from moving forward with a lot of things like my schooling, like just going to or like I've you know like real lately going to therapy. I mean, I've learned so much in all these years. Here I was uh, getting bitten like a snake. I mean, I, I tell these girls, you know what? Hey, don't think your your stuff don't stink. Yeah, like, like a. Like a car dealership, if you have a bad experience with one, there's many more that'll give you a lot better service. And that you know that what? is exactly right. <laughs> and like a like a you know what girls or some of these girls who think they're hot stuff. I mean, like a twelve pack of beer. If if one bottle breaks, hey, there's about there's many more that'll probably work out just like better. a bottle of beer. You better drink it when it's fresh because it's gonna go flat at some point. Yeah, I mean, and some, some, you know, once they get older, these girls, you can't roll back their odometer because, you know, oh, boy. That's right. You know, Tom, I love your show, and, you know, I, I would like to someday see 97.1 be able to, you know, get service out there in the San Bernardino Mountains because there's a lot of people who could benefit from your show, your knowledge, how you talk, how you read the Wall Street Journal. I mean, these girls think I'm weird because I read the Wall Street Journal. And yeah. I said, well... You know what? Hey, I like it. I'm 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 a self proclaimed weird twenty four year old. What can I say? You realize there's a Hannah Montana fan out there though who will appreciate the fact that you read the Wall Street Journal. Uh you know, eight, nine years from now when she's old enough for you. Yeah. <laughs> hey Tom uh, Your trophy wife is in the oven right now. Oh yeah, it's it's uh it's cooking up. I know that. And I I'm glad I'm twenty four year old. I'm 24 and I'm I'm not married. I have no relationships. I say, well, for better results, any relationship should be deferred till after 25. At least. Yeah. The average man now in this country has his first marriage at 28. Yeah, and and my my friend Dexter, he got married, you know, at a great age. I mean, 31 after he had had his fun and he says, "You know what? Okay, you know, and he has no regrets." He didn't have kids till he was in his mid thirties, and he's doing well. And he Good for even him. tells he even tells me, you know, don't get married, stay out of relationships. Uh, believe me, but more and more guys are discovering this. Oh, oh yeah, Tom. Um, I was wondering if it's possible if you can uh, take me out, Kobe Bryant style. I certainly can, Wes. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Yeah, the air I breathe. She's so special to me. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Brianne on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. 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 This subject is so awesome right now. Because I don't think it's just set to only uh, only girls. Well, the study, the study shows... That that girls and women are happiest when they're younger, and around the time they're in their late forties, their happiness begins to decline. And men are the exact opposite. Well, I think it's true for the girls because a lot of the you know the really really hot girls in high school they turned so fugly. They had kids. They just I mean they got fat, all that stuff. But a lot of the hot guys that I went to like school with and stuff. I mean I've been out of high school for eight years, but a lot of them got. Fat, kids, nasty, I mean, college. Of course, out. how many of those guys ended up making a lot of money? Um, Out of probably eight of my friends, one. Right, and I'll bet he's not that attractive. No, he's really ugly. Yeah, <laughs> but, but I'll bet you he's finding women who are younger than you are. <laughs> and you're right, too. Uh-huh, that's my point. But all the cheerleaders, they got fat, ugly, and just, oh. Right, because they use their attractiveness to get what they could get. And then get someone to sign the big contract, you know, the marital contract. And then they felt it, like they didn't have to keep up appearances anymore. But isn't it fair that all the guys, I mean, if us girls have to stay hot, I mean... It doesn't I, work that way. 
Why not? Because because when men get older, we have more of what you want, which is money. True. And, True. and when women get older, they have less of what men want. Attractiveness. So what, are, what are us single girls supposed to say when, like, you know, we go to the bars and all these fat, ugly guys are there? Uh, you, you do what most women do. Ask them what zip code they live in and what kind of car they drive. <laughs> <laughs> then right, you just Tom, turn the lights you down. Jesus then you just style. turn the lights down low and pull out the tweezer. <laughs> All right, Tom, take me out, Jesus Christ style. All right, Brianne, here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Haley on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, I was just commenting to say that I do think that we get angrier when we get older because, I mean, come on, our boobs sag, we're not hot anymore, our face gets wrinkly, like, we're just not that hot. And it's unfortunate, but, I mean, it happens to everyone. Just guys that's right, and that's where you get all your power from, from looking young and unwrinkled and hot. Exactly, and other girls, like the older girls, are jealous because they used to look like us, but yet they right. don't get the attention we get. right. Yeah, I agree. I completely agree. I just can't wait till I'm 40 so I get a boo job and I won't look bad. And then I won't be unhappy. They all say that, dear, but they all end up cougars. Yeah. Maybe I'll be a cougar like the guys will look for me. I'll just be that hot of a cougar. That's right. And uh, and that little boy you're babysitting for now, maybe he'll have sex with you when you're 40. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> Thank you for the call. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at LowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show.